Hi guys, Jelly Clocks here, and today I have some more of the GTA map information. Which, there's like on the map, there's kind of a chicken stuff. So I uh, let's check out Clock and Bill. I'm sure I, th I remember there being a date here. So, it says this, it says it's meant to be the Clock and Bill factory established in 1719. No, it's 1917. So, that would be so on that date, there was like all sorts of things that sort of tie in with tie in with like, a lot with GTA and other Grand Theft Auto. So um, so in so during this year in San Francisco there was an anti prostitution drive in meetings for um anti prostitution I guess. Uh, also, uh, in this year there was only forty eight stars in the American flag. Uh, so also what other ones going on during the time of this date? So. That pub that has a big impact on most other most countries in the world. So there was the there was a few stuff that happened. So there was the Green Corn Rebellion, which mentions about farmers in Oklahoma against the I think it's cons conscription like in World War One. Um, they had a rebellion, I guess, in then in November the fourteenth. Night of Terror, I uh, think it's prison guards were ordered to brutalise suffragette inmates and they are sort of like women that wanted the vote in countries. If that makes sense to anyone, there's like probably a lot you could like search up about them. There's qu there was quite a lot of distribution, so like world, as World War One is going on in this time, and obviously that that involves basically most of Europe, America, parts of Asia, Africa, every <laughs> everywhere, hence World War One. Um but the I like how if you search this data up, one of the first things you'll come across is the San Francisco, which could possibly be another the next map for Grand Theft Auto I think it was a map before, but I'm not sure. And obviously there's all them fake GT6 trailers, but obviously this could relate to like the chili mystery. And what I noticed as well was this is something else. I was looking around the dam and they're like obviously people are suspect there's a way to open the door. So like like normal car park thing, it's sort of like a sort of corner plus sign bit and another plus sign bit, but there's four of them. So it sort of marks out like a rectangle. So I was thinking if you put like a tank or like a fire truck in there, in that way, would it like make that ground crack open and fall down. Like if it goes down slightly, it acts as a pressure plate and opens up a door. Like, I was up there and I was using the black cell phone and what I'd done was I phoned the number underneath a tiny part of the dam and it actually made the sound as if the dam, part of the dam had blown up. But when I was looking for it, nothing had happened, so. Not too sure there. But if that dam was to blow up, there'd be a lot of sub, like stuff that would happen. Like, if it's to over flood or like completely be destroyed, like you'd have like the underground sewer tunnels and that, like totally flood in. Like the underneath the maze bank would just be filled with water. And then it might spew out onto the motorway if it gets too much. But I don't think that's possible to happen. So just a couple of bits there about the dam. But I understand there's the Bigfoot Easter egg. But I got we got a hundred over a hundred views on the last uh, Easter egg video, so as well. I think once I get a bit further on in the game, we should I'll try and take a look sort of at the oh is the underwater plane that Trevor crashes. I can't remember if I've crashed it yet, but if I because I know that that's under there and that could just like let's take floor, but. I know there's a lot of like, easter eggs in the next generation version of the game than there was in the first, but I just thought this was cool how the map can leaks in with other dates. And that, so that's one thing I'm like, I like about it, but obviously there's a lot more to discover. There's obviously secret graves, so where uh, they could relate to the mural. <laughs> I think people have managed to place it in the map so that they know sort of like it lights up with certain spots and one of them is like the dam I think. So, so 
was like the so was like the obviously the Mount Gordo ghost where oh, I think that has been solved. There's obviously the underground mines and stuff, but there are a few other looking mines. Like there's one right next to Sandy Shores Airport that I reckon we could get into. Maybe that has something to do with finish 100% in the game. But I've enjoyed the Code Direct and I'm out.